is the head that I have fully assembled in place. It's not torqued down yet. I've just put these nuts on with the washers, just hold them in place. Other things that I have fitted on the engine, there's just various various fittings like the um, oil pressure spring and piston. There's two of those on the engine. There's one there and one around this side in there. So they've been done. Just um, a few other little fittings like the coolant elbow on the bottom of the engine on there. The coolant elbows, they fit on using these really nice adapters on here. I'll show you one of those. Basically it's a, an aluminium tube with O-rings on and a seal on there. So there's two on the top of the engine, one on each side there and two on the bottom of the engine. They get the water in and out of the, the cylinder jackets. I've also put the, the chain boxes on. So one on each side, obviously they're, they're different along with this. This one's not actually fitted, finished fitting this one yet. And then the bolts on this, on this side, you see there's a bolt on the inside there. On the other side, there isn't all the bolts are around the the outside of it. They're all cap heads apart from one, which you can just see down there. The reason that's not a cap head is because you can't get in to tighten it up with a with an Allen key. And then I've just dropped in place for now the water pump housing here and also this housing here, which holds the alternator and power steering which goes on here just to show you how it fits together so with this manifold on here so this is where the the oil cooler heat exchanger goes on here there are two pipes which attach to this i'll just find the pipe and i'll show it to you there's one there's one each side the one on this side is this pipe here which goes from here down to just under here if you can see just just here so that basically sort of snakes its way through there so that's on one side and on this other side there is a, a metal pipe this one here which goes from there underneath that the elbow there and then up and over and connects down to here so those are the connections. There's also um, a couple of oil connections, one here and one here, which will have new O-rings fitted. And then there's a one-way valve in here, and this goes up to the, the oil tank for the breather. Now, this is a slightly different design to the 997 one. And there's one, one other piece which is on it. There's a, a pipe here, which fits in there and goes up into a hole in the bottom of there. So this is the 996 one but I'm going to run the four litre intake and if I want to fit the four litre intake, there's a bit of an interference issue. Basically with the, the four litre intake on, the plenum hits on the back of that housing. So to fix that, we need to change this oil manifold to the 997 part. This is the 997 manifold compared to the 996. You can see the difference in shape at the back of the filter housing here, which gives the extra clearance. Other differences are that the 997 uses a single oil temperature and pressure sensor here, whereas on the 996, it has a takeoff for the oil pressure there and separate oil temperature there. The connection to the oil tank for the breather is different. The 996 has the one-way valve in here Whereas on the 997, it uses an inline one-way valve. So I need to run the 997 pipe work for that. Other differences which are important are that the, the hose connections for the, for the coolant, you'll see on the 996, they're a lot further forward compared to on the 997. That's the same on both sides. Now on this side of the engine, it's not an issue. There's a 997 version of this pipe, which is just longer. So I shall be running that on there. Whereas on this side, it is different because on the 997 version, this housing is also different. It has a pipe coming up off here 
and basically they just run the pipe from here through to here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to run the, the standard 996 version of the pipe and I'll just get a piece of standard coolant pipe and just put a longer piece down there. So once those parts are in, I'll be able to, to get this manifold fitted. Uh, another minor difference, the fitting in here, the aluminium fitting is different. It's got a smaller diameter on this end in the 997 than on the 996. So I needed a new fitting to go in there. The one that goes here is the same, but they're all going to have new O-rings fitted. So once those, those parts are in, I can get this attached, bolted down properly. It just has some sealant which goes around here. And then I'll be able to also get this section all fitted along with the, the water pump housing at the front. Unfortunately, even with an extension piece on the bottom of there to move the pipe to the correct place, if I try to use this standard pipe from the 996, it fouls on the side of the, the intake manifold. There's not, enough, there's not enough room for it. So I'm going to have to have a change of plan for the, the coolant return. So what I'm going to do instead, just take this one out, is so I'm going to change the water pump, I'm sorry, not water pump, power steering pump bracket. So this on the 996 one, as we can see, the coolant line comes in here. They changed it for the 997.2 and it then comes in at the bottom. So it uses a straight pipe to go into the, the oil manifold. So I've removed the bolt. So if we just take this one off, fit the new one, be able to see how it goes. Obviously, I need to put the put the O-ring and the bolts in. But you can see that will fit on there, and then we basically have a straight run for the pipe to go through and this is the this is the correct pipe for it so I shall be be fitting that on and then hopefully that's the coolant return sorted out these are the two coolant pipes which run from the water pump housing to the oil manifold you can see the 996 one on top is slightly shorter than the 997 one so the 997 one had to be used these are the uh, the oil drain pipes which go to the the oil filter housing again you can see the difference between the the 996 and the 997 one very very slight difference but it won't fit with the 996 version here you can see it fitted in place there's a uh, o-rings on each end for sealing it with the oil cooler housing in place there's a clearance issue with this elbow the coolant elbow um, basically they use a different elbow on the 997 and if you use the 996 one it uh, has clearance issues so I just had to relieve it slightly both on the elbow and on the on the housing just to provide some clearance on there then when that's all done it's ready to to fit the housing so this is the the mounting face for it on here we use some Loctite sealant so just apply a thin bead all the way around the, the joining face going on the inside of the bolt holes and then just dab it with the finger end just to make sure that it's well spread out then bolt the manifold down and then when it's all gone off there should be a, a thin bead all the way around showing that the sealant has uh, has got good coverage <laughs> 